Hi, what is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, we're going to be working up with the permalinks and then we're going to move forward with our blog settings, okay? And our more settings. So let's just go ahead and let's open up any of the posts from the blog, okay? If I just open up this post, then you can see that it says 2018 slash 1 slash 12 and then the title of the post, which I do not like and I would highly recommend you to change that. I want it to be the simpler, like um, it should be like this. If I just cross it and I just put, uh, add this, then you can see it takes me directly here and this is the link that is coming. I don't want this. How? I'm going to prevent this to happen. So for that, I have to go to the dashboard, okay? And then I have to go to settings and then I have to go to permalinks. So this is the number one step that you have to do. And here you can see that it says common settings. So for the post link, it will appear like day and name this, 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 and then it will show the post. So if you just choose it to be like plain, then it's going to show the post ID. If you choose it to be like month and name, then it's going to add the month, this, and the name. If you add it to be like numeric, then it's going to be like this. If you add it to be like post name, then it will be the simpler that I want. And I would highly recommend you to check this whether you like it or not because this is good for the SEO purposes as well. Okay, we'll understand that SEO later on. What is it and why is it necessary? But let's just go ahead. Let's just select this and let's save the changes. And now when we will go to our website, you will see how does it look. So if I just go to the blog and then I open it this up, you can see this is simple and the simple just looks amazing. OK, because I don't know, but I am attracted to this, this the, uh, the simple URL. OK, so now you can see that we are done with the links and now let's work with the settings of our website. So I'm going to go to the dashboard right now and in here, we have these, 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 and these. So you guys know about the media. So in the media library, it's going to show all the images that you have added to your post. So you can see that we add just one single image and that is our in like a thief image when we were telling. So that is why it is here. So I don't know if I have to tell you about it. We have the comments and then we have the plugins and appearance, which we will learn about more later. And then we have the users, which we will learn more. The tools is not um, really much useful to our website, okay? Because um, in here, it just works with like import and export when you want to migrate website or something like that. So um, we've worked with that, but it is understand, but it, it is explained in this course. So I'm not just explaining it to you right now. Let's just quickly go ahead and let's just overview our settings. So in the general tab, you can basically manage the general settings to your website, like um, the site title, the tagline, the URL and everything and this membership. So we will be working up with this memberships later on, guys. So I don't have to explain you this. When we will be working up with our projects, then we will understand about this membership, that how does membership looks and how you can manage that. So then we have this and everything. So here you can work with the date format, the site language, and the time format as well. And the week starts on Monday. So you can select that when your week starts. The next step we have here, is the writing so it's gonna be like the default post category so when we just want to add a new post okay let's suppose that we want to add this okay and now here you can see that the default post category would be set to news if i just add it like um um hello world and i just paste a, a link here the dummy text and then i without selecting any category i just go ahead and i just publish it okay and then you can see that the default post category would be selected as news. Same like this, it is applied to the default post format. We will be working up with the format later on when we will build a professional blog. So don't get yourself confused with the format right now. Just leave it. Just leave it as it is. And then we have the post via email. So post via email is not recommended by me. This happens like um, when you want to post anything with the email. And it is recommended by most of the blogs and most of the people that you should not be using that because when you can log in easily to your WordPress website and post anything, then why you have to do that? So you can uh, just work with that if you want to, but this is not recommended. Okay. And then we have the reading settings. So in the reading settings, you can see that here we have the main settings. So we have worked with this already. That is why I don't have to explain you this. But now if I just select to be like your homepage, 
displays latest post, then you will see that my home page will be actually the blog page and it will display all the latest posts like this. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, and now we have the blog pages show at most 10 posts. What this means that this page is going to show the 10 posts only. And after that, it's going to show the view more or something like that with the pagination like it was with the apple.com. So apple.com slash newsroom. And now here you can see that we go down, 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 down. Now you can see it says this view more. So it is showing a number of posts here and then it shows the view more. So if someone clicks here, then he is redirected down and the person can then just again click here. So this is how it works, okay? So now I can just choose it to be like blog pages show at most um, two posts, okay? And I just go ahead and I just hit save changes. And I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna refresh. Now here you can see how this is looking. So we have this hello world, we have this another post, and then we have this. So I'm just gonna click here and it's gonna take me to the page two and then I have this. So this is how it is looking, okay? Now here, if I just select it like um, this to be like 10, I want it to be like normal, okay? And then let's go ahead and let's just hit this and let's refresh. So now you can see that it will show all the posts here, only the 10. But we, since, since we don't have 10, that is why this is not showing the pagination right here. So this is how it works, okay? And now we have uh, this one syndication feed and this for each article in a feed, which is not um, much recommended or which is not useful. So we'll be doing that in the upcoming videos when we'll work, I'll, show you, I'll, I'll tell you about this. So just leave it as it is. And now you can see that we are also done with this. So now we have this discussion and then we have the media and the permalinks. Permalinks you guys already know and this media you will know right now. And for the discussion, I will create a new specific video. So because discussion is with the comments, okay? And in the next video, we'll just understand about the comments and then the discussion and then we'll move forward, guys. So in the media section, you can just work with the thumbnail size and the medium size and the large size, okay? So like um, if you add any media, and then here we just add it to be like three sizes. Like um, it should be like a medium size. So medium size pixel would be like 300 by 300. And large size would be like 1024 by 1024. So this is called the large size. This is called the medium size. And this is called the thumbnail size. So crop thumbnail to exact dimensions. This is selected as well. So now here it says um, you guys must have understand this. If you have not then you will understand this later on when we will be working up with our e-commerce side and we will work more into the customization. Then you will understand it. So just keep it as the overview. This one is like um, organize my uploads into month and year based folder. What is this? I'm going to open up the picture. Okay. This is a picture that I have. I just drag this. Okay. Let me just open it up. And when I just drag this, okay, I'm going to copy the URL of this picture. Okay, and I just come here and I just paste it right here. Then you can see that my picture is organized in month and the year based folder, which is selected. If I don't want this, if I just be like, I don't like it, I just want it to be like slash uploads and then this. Then I'll just simply come here, I'll just select this, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit save changes. That's all I have to do. And when I will add new images. It will not be organized. So let's suppose that I want to add any image. Let's suppose that I want to add um, this image. Okay. So this is the image that I have added. Okay. This will be uploaded right now. And this is the image that is coming. If I just open it up and I just grab the link and then I just come here and I just paste it. Then you can see that this is like slash upload slash CWPC slash the image name. And then it is looking. So this is how it works, guys. And it works seriously, really amazing. So now you can see that we are um, totally done with these settings. Okay, these were so easy. And now you can see that you have understand it, everything. So in the next video, we'll be working up with the comments and then we'll be working up with the discussion in the next video. So stay tuned, guys, and bye-bye.